Welcome back. We got more Super Tramp on the channel for you today. We've done Goodbye Stranger, but that one may not be up yet before we release this one. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that one plays out. But this was you know a special that one, request. Yeah, this is a special request from Barry. Yes. And um, so he wanted us to jump straight to the live version on this one. So we're checking out Live in Paris from 1979. We did a little bit of back to work, background work, uh, insights on this song, the logical song. And it seems like there's a lot of depth to this one. Yeah, it really cool like story there behind it. There might be uh, quite a few instruments in it. We wanted to kind of get a vibe for it, what to expect in the live you know, version, because ten, we tend to do studio versions first and yeah. then get a feel for the song and then move into the live. But um, like I said, Barry wanted us to jump right into the live. So we wanted to have a little bit of an insight as to what we might be seeing or expecting. Um, but uh, maybe we can do the studio version later if it sounds yeah. Yeah. a lot different because sometimes you guys come in those comments and you're like that was way way different uh arrangement than what the original studio version sounds like so you guys can let us know in those comments but you enjoyed super tramp on the first song that we did right yeah it was really cool and um your i think your mom used to listen to super Tramp. yeah Is she's that right? been to i think a couple concerts yeah <laughs> And I, that was our first introduction for me, for sure. I'd never heard yeah. them before. So, yeah, no. Um, still, I've I, heard her talk about it, but I've, I didn't really know who they were. And uh, we haven't released the other video yet, so I'm still kind of not sure about this name, Super Tramp. I just. Where it's coming from. Like, where, where did that get? I mean, it played into that li last song that we yeah, did. Yeah, it did. That was a little bit of a one night stand thing. So, um, <laughs> anyways, I'm excited to check out the live version from them, see what they're going to do live, and see a new song from them. You ready to get it going? I am. Let's do it. All right, let's roll, guys. Tell you something about Paris makes me feel very logical. When I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. A miracle, how it was beautiful, magical. And all the birds in the trees, they'd be singing so happily. Sick. Yeah, I, I thought it was just a short little solo there, but it sounds like it's going to come back in again. We'll get it going in a second again. Um, what I are your thoughts? Sorry? I love the saxophone. You're a big fan of every saxophone that we've done. Yeah, I love it. Just like this. I feel like it makes the song, like it just gives an extra flair. Yeah, it gives it some pop. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful sound. It's also very original and unique because mm -hmm. you don't hear it in a lot of music I think that's why I like nowadays. it so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, interesting lyrics as well. He's uh, talking about like finding himself and, you know, on the path that he's on, it sounds like, going through a real journey. So again some of the songs that we've heard around this time period it's very interesting to me how it's this upbeat kind of vibe and this groove that they're talking about more deeper 
understanding and meanings and things. Yeah. Um, and it kind of blends it together because you can get caught just like, you know, Bob in your head type thing and not really taking the lyrics so much if you're not paying attention. Yeah. But it seems like this is like a kind of a more somber song that he's singing about anyways. Um, interesting too, the, it seems like there's like a keyboard oaring and mix. We talked about obviously the saxophone, so mm-hmm. there's lots of depth in the instruments there. Yeah. Um, Guitars, and, and drums. Pardon? Also the guitars and the drums in there. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his vocals, uh, obviously great live, you know, I mean, I don't know what the studio sounds like, but, yeah. uh, you know, it still sounds great to me live. Yeah, no, I think it sounds really good live too. I mean, like you said, we haven't heard the studio to compare it, but, um, you know, and then it kind of stuck out to me a little bit, like you had said, the the kind of journey aspect, but some of the lyrics that I was hearing was him saying like, you know, when you're a kid, you're, you know, like playing and joyous and all of these things. And then, you know, as you, he got sent away to be like, become responsible Mm -hmm. and, you know, all of these things, practical. So I think he's probably just talking about, you know, how we like grow up and kind of get just pushed into adulthood and you don't really get that chance to find out like who you truly are because you're told to like you know be responsible and do all of these things and follow this clean cut path right Mm -hmm. which i mean i feel like a lot of us experience in life Mm -hmm. and then you wake up in the middle of night asking who even am i (laughs) it's relevant to everybody right probably a lot i imagine a lot of people resonate with this song this song actually is from the same album i believe that we did on the last one okay um and I think that was their super popular, uh, most popular album. album. They had like eight songs on that one that did really, really well. Oh, so wow. this is another one, I think. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, back allow to him the sax. get back into that sax. <laughs> interesting overall sound like it sounds kind of like funky jazz mix in there obviously you got the brass too which will add to that but yeah um that's kind of the vibe i got and they, you know even after we paused it they added some you know more depth for for the instrumentation and like it was like a whistle that jumped in there for a quick minute and yeah. feel like they had a synthesizer sound in there too and you know then they had all of them all sitting down and they're you yeah. know at their keys it's and they're playing off each the, other with the vocals yeah exactly so um very unique performance um you know i think i would like to listen to the studio version of this one just to see how it compares but mm. uh super talented obviously super talented super tramp <laughs> <laughs> yeah seriously and one thing i thought was kind of cool is like i mean i don't know if this was on purpose or if this is just like how he pronounces words i'm assuming on purpose but i feel like he was almost over enunciating certain syllables mm. of words to make them stand out more like instead of just saying logical he's saying like logical you know what yeah. i mean like trying to like make it stand out a little bit mm-hmm. which is neat because i mean like i don't really feel like i've heard a lot of other songs where they do that like especially in this kind of genre mm-hmm. where they're like pr- they're using their pronunciation i feel like that's more of like a hip hop thing where they're like pronunciating and like yeah. enunciating words certain ways, right? For like extra kind of impact. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was neat too and different. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to <laughs> Super Tramp live in Paris, 1979. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. 
hit the subscription button and the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. If you are, thank you so much for all the support. We really do appreciate you guys. Our channel would not be where it is right now in this moment without your support. That is and that, true. And that includes all the subscriptions, of course, which have been you know overwhelming in the past year, but mostly from those comments because that's how we've driven our channel. You know, we kind of check out what you guys are talking about on there, get your insights, and then we move forward. And uh, we've come across so many groups like Super Champ that we would have not expected to without you. So thank you. Really do appreciate it. That's it from us today. We'll be back with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.